What's happening guys, it's Abhinav from PhoneBunch and this is the ASUS Zenfone 3 Ultra. So folks, this phone comes with a massive 6.8 inch display, dwarfs any phone that I've seen of late apart from the Mi Max. You have Android Marshmallow running on the device with Snapdragon 652, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of onboard storage. But before we talk about anything else, let's talk about build. So you can see those two speakers at the bottom. That's what I'm really interested in. Twin stereo speakers, you have a USB type C port. At the top of the phone, you'll see the audio jack as well as the noise cancellation mic. So it has a 4600 milliamp hour battery. You can see the power button on the right. The volume button has been actually moved to the back. And you have a 23 megapixel camera here, optical image stabilization there too, 8 megapixel front camera, and you have a notification LED there too. Now the home button also acts as a fingerprint sensor and thankfully the capacitive buttons are backlit here. The display does look quite good, it doesn't seem pixelated, decent color reproduction as well and in these lights it does seem quite okay. But this is a massive massive phone or should I just call it a tablet because that's what it seems like. But overall the build quality is really solid here, it comes in a few colors, you can see the sort of grayish color here. Now the camera actually did perform quite well, it was able to capture images quickly and even in this slide it did seem quite decent to be honest. Overall the software experience is quite familiar. You have Zen UI running on top of Android Marshmallow which you've already seen before in many iterations. There are still a lot of apps that come pre-installed on the device but thankfully they can be disabled. Now this is a 64 gig variant which has been priced at 50,000 rupees in India. That's quite pricey. But at least you get solid build quality, 4 gigs of RAM here too out of which about 1.5 gigs were free. There's no denying that the Zenfone 3 Ultra is very pricey. You can even get the Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge at this price point. And it does make me wonder whom ASUS is actually targeting with this product. But I'm still interested in testing those cameras out and how loud those speakers get. Anyways folks, we'll be taking a look at this phone later on as well, so do stay tuned to Phone Bunch. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, let us in the comment section. And as always, have a great day.